how do I screw this red dot on here? Red dots on the, well, let me see. I think, you know what, Drew, do you think that we can JB weld that on there and it'll work? Yeah. Or maybe like a, I know that when you shoot these guns, if we put like a couple popsicle sticks on there and JB weld the whole thing together, if we can figure that out, we might be able to sell like the kit to mount them. What do you think? Yeah, I've got some duct tape in my Kira. Of course, we're joking. So, nobody has to date yet come up with a good solution to put a red dot onto the 92 platform. That is until today. Our friends at Langdon Tactical have done it. They have come up with a slide that you can purchase from them or have done to yours with an elegant mount for all the standard red dots. And today we are going to show you what this gun does on the range. So thanks to Ernest Langdon who tirelessly put in time making this happen, who put in the energy to engineer this, patent pending process that only they have come up with and tested, it's now done. If you own a 92 platform or have stayed away from it because you're a red dot guy or know that in the future that's gonna be your jam, the wait is over. Check that out. Integral backup site as part of the mount. This dot, depending on which one, is probably one of the lowest dot to bore relationships out there, 0.85 inches. So slightly over three quarters of an inch dot to center of bore, depending on the dot, RMR versus the SRO or whatever you're shooting. So I'm today gonna put a 2.5 MOA Trigicon SRO onto this gun. Drew and I and Kanan are gonna take it out to the range. We're gonna run some rounds through it. Drew will show you some sweet close-ups. We'll talk about some specs, but most importantly, how cool is that? I dig it. A couple things when you're mounting a dot. You want good, clean connection for the screws. You wanna clean any machining oil off. What I like to do is take just the littlest bit of denatured alcohol and cut myself a little short piece of pipe cleaner, and I'm just gonna clean out those threads so we get a really good connection. In all of our classes that we do, I don't know how many times I have seen dots come off or fall off of guns because just poor connection, maybe not loctiting them good enough, maybe improper torque, maybe uh, too much torque can actually shear these little screws off. So know the manufacturer specifications. This is not a how to install video, but if we're gonna show you, I wanna make sure that that little tidbit is in your memory bank little denatured alcohol, clean the screws. That denatured alcohol is gonna evaporate after we got the uh, machining oil off of there. And actually, if you look, I don't know if you'll see it or not, but there's just the littlest bit of oil on there, and that's normal. You're gonna get that uh, anytime you're working with machined parts. So clean it out, and we'll let it dry. I'm gonna grab some blue Loctite. There's a lot of argument as to which is the best, and the fact of the matter is, you gotta figure out for yourself. So they sent us two different lengths of screws. I gotta figure out which ones I need. I'm thinking that's the longer one. I'm thinking the longer one's probably gonna be it. It is gonna be the longer set of screws. Some food for thought. This stuff is basically glue. It needs to cure. So I'll see guys put this stuff on and then they go right to using it. You wouldn't glue something together with, say, wood glue and then go right to using it, would you? That doesn't make a lot of sense, yet people do it. Uh, according to the manufacturer of this product, I believe this has a 24-hour cure time. That's important. And if you don't let it cure, you're just not gonna get the benefits of the Loctite. So before I mount this, I want you to see some of the elegance. Bosses, and this radius allow for this to drop right in and it matches the angle of the Trigicon models and many other sites. It allows for a full bearing on that optic between the mounting plate and the slide. I'm going to drop her in, grab our screwdriver. One thing I've learned running with Loctite is let it sit for just a second or two to set up as I did. 
Now, because these are chamfered, these screw holes, oh, oh, shooting it everywhere. Because these are chamfered, they are going to self-center. So where these chamfered screws drop into the chamfer on the optic, it's going to self-center itself, which is, which is why you need good machining. course we're going to use the gunfighter gun oil and we're going to lube this sucker up. These 92s love running wet. There's some spots that you want to make sure stay good and lubed. So I'm going to hit those because this is a clean slide. We started out with it. We did not have our slide milled and we'll talk a little bit about that. So as I'm lubing this you can you can send your slide into Langdon and have it done. Get some in the rails. You can have it done, or, or you can, my frame is in good shape, or you can buy a new one all ready to go so that you can, you know, have both a non-optic version and a optic version, whatever suits your fancy. And it's really affordable to, uh, to do. Uh, way more affordable than I would have thought, and I think that's just fantastic and it's a testament to the Langdon's ability to bring awesome things to market. Literally to get into one of these, to get into one of these whole packages with the optic is cheaper than many of the customizers of plastic striker fired guns. That's pretty crazy to me. Not that long ago having a gun like this built from a competent gunsmith, which the Langdon's are would have been thousands of dollars. You can get into one of these things for less than a couple thousand bucks. I mean, actually you can buy an LTT for less than a thousand dollars, which is just mind blowing to me that you can get a world class custom built, basically custom built Beretta by the man that knows more about Beretta pistols than anybody alive that I know of and running them well because he was a champion. You can get into a setup like this and have the epitome of a double single pistol. Again, ours are G models. G means decock only. So if you fire this gun and you hit that safety lever, it's only in decock. It's not like a 92 FS where it, you go to a safety. You'll notice that lever pops up. By the way, since we're talking about that lever, Ernest had to redesign these levers in order to work properly with the optic mount which is, you know, just a ton of work, a metric ton of work. Notice the pre-installed sights, ready to go, backup irons. I, I literally am like a kid on Christmas morning right now. Drew, I say we get this thing into the truck and get our ass over to the range. So we talked about it in the shop. I say that we shoot it. Everybody's got eyes and ears on. We're loaded up with Supervel. We've done a rough confirmation of zero. I'm running this out of a Blade Tech holster, but Langdon's already got a uh, bunch of support from guys like Tony at JM Custom Kydex on holsters. We'll show you one of those in the video here. A couple pieces of TA Target steel out there and a hat point target holder with some cardboard on it. We'll screw around a little bit on the steel. We got a timer. We'll move back to 75, maybe 100 yards and see how that works. Marksmanship matters regardless of the gun in the dot. So let's see what we can do. Let's check it out. We'll run some on cardboard here. Feels good. All A zone hits. We're at about 13, 14 yards here. The slide, I've got, I would venture to say, a hundred plus thousand rounds through these guns in the last few years. People hear me say that and they're like, nope, no way. We shoot a lot. What I'm feeling immediately is not a lot of difference in the slide. I wasn't sure if there'd be a, a different impulse. There is a little bit of difference, but I'm not noticing it like I do with a Glock or another gun that has a optic mounted to it. Let's see how it feels coming out of the holster onto some steel. Feels good. 
and the red dot is just such an easier platform to shoot. Nothing about it. Nothing about it is a turnoff, you know? Other than more size, the way that Ernest made this thing work, it looks like, oh, Beretta must have designed that a long time ago. You guys are looking at it. Doesn't it look elegant? Like, ah, it just fits there. W since when did they not make those? He literally made it look like it's always been there. The gun's functioning awesome. They tested them to high hell. We're gonna run the snot out of it. Kanan's back there loading up an ammo can full of mags and we're gonna make sure it doesn't break. And if it does, we're gonna film it. We'll share it with you. Ernest and Amy will be pissed, but I don't care. Man, it feels good. I like it. Why don't we do this? So Kanan's running the timer. We'll just try some one shot drills. I'm not, I've never been the super fast guy. So I'm just gonna see how this feels compared to what I'm used to. Shooter ready? Yes, sir. Stand by. One, one, All right, I think we can do better than that on you. Shooter ready. Yes, sir. Stand by. 0.97, all right, so that feels pretty good. Definitely acquiring that dot versus sights is quicker, but I know some dudes running irons, myself included, that just have so much time in them, but this is freaking cool and I dig it. Let's keep going, let's try it, give me some more. Shooter ready. Yes, sir. No, not, not even a standby, he's just trying to mess with me. What was the time? 116. All right, we can speed it up. Shooter ready. Yes, sir. Standby. All right, so sub one second outside the waistband, big deal. I'll run a six shot string on that now and we'll see if we can keep them tight. Ready? Shooter ready? Stand yes, sir. By. With a miss, I think. Two, three, five. All right, let's do better than that. Shooter ready? Mm hmm. Stand by. Two, zero, eight. Yeah, I can do better than that. That's not the worst at a 10 yard target. We'll try it again. Hold on, hold on. Getting some mags ready. Yep. Stand by. One, nine, five. The first shot was kind of long. What was the first shot? The first shot was 103 and I ran them with some better split times. So sub two second drill, that's not a technical build drill because we're shooting a piece of C zone. So why don't I grab a couple mags and we'll try it on the actual A zone at seven yards. So we'll run a, a legit build drill, which is seven yards from the holster, six shots, A zone. So we've got an A zone out there. Uh, right now there's no misses on it, which we'll show. And we'll try it again at seven to see what that looks like. Let me get a couple fresh mags. Shooter ready. ready? Stand by. Two, three, one. Alright, we can get a faster one than that. Let's try again. Shooter ready? Stand by. Two, eleven. Let's try again. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two, two, one. Do better than that. Shooter ready. Stand by. Ah, big miss on that one. Shooter ready. Stand by. Two, zero, five. Let's do one more. Shooter ready. Stand by. Too fast, I threw a mic, threw a mic. First shot was just out of the A zone. But that's what I'm looking for. Shooter ready, stand by. 197. All right, so we got one clean sub two second, big deal, big beeping deal. I'm not that fast, never claimed to be, but it's fun to try. 
We'll do a couple quick reload drills from here. We've got uh, some diminished mags. Tack mag these into the gun, and we can just try a couple reloads while we're right here. Easy. Still a 92, right? Try that again. Come on, get in there. Try that one more time. Do a little tuck here on the shirt. I gotta also say I'm wearing our friend's Wise Men Company shirt, good friends of ours. Noah's one of the dudes that helps Drew filming at the S12 event. Awesome, awesome dudes, Noah and Ben. Check their stuff out. Follow up with a headshot. Nice. I do like that, uh, that dot. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. One, six, one. Shooter ready. Stand by. Slower that time, had a fouled grip. My fault, not the guns. Shooter ready? Yep. Stand by. 179. We're on this outside the waistband. I gotta get more repages in. Shooter ready? Yes, sir. Stand by. Ah, a couple misses on that little guy. Two, two, four. Let me tack mag. Let's do it again. I'll go 2-2 two, two now. Yes, sir. Stand by. Ah, f this town, USA. Two, two, eight. Shooter ready? Yes, sir. Stand by. I gotta, I gotta back it off a little bit. I'm running faster than I can see. Shooter ready? Yes, sir. I, let's try it again. No ready? Yep. Stand by. She definitely shoots easy. Let me try a couple offhand shots. Works pretty good. We'll run a couple support hands. So we'll draw a transition. Tracking that dot sure is easy to do compared to sights. Let's run some rounds at 25 yards. We'll throw a few rounds at the C zone and the mini ADAP. See what that looks and feels like. Pretty effortless. Why don't we head on back? 50 yards. All right, now I'm seeing my zero where I need to confirm or adjust at 50 to get a good hit. I've got to hold upper one third. Not a bad thing, but it's not where my point of aim is. So uh, got to know your dot and that's what we're shaking out here now. So now let's get some good hits. I'm 
So 50 yards dinging that little mini ADAP, not a problem. One, yes, the optics helps, but the reason that we love these 92s, especially the Langdon LTTs, is because they're just such freaking well-built and highly accurate and highly shootable pistols. I will not lie, our friends from Supervel, without ammunition that's loaded to tight tolerances, where velocities and bullet weights are tightly kept, you're not gonna have accurate shooting. Meaning, if you had a magazine and there was a 50 foot per second or 100 foot per second deviation in a round or two, at 50 yards or more, you're going to have a different point of impact, even at closer distances. But you don't expect to get the results out of a machine like this with junk ammo. Use good stuff like this Superville. Can you get any magazines on you? So now we're back at 75. Where am I holding to get that? Kanan, do you see where those are going in the woods? All right, I'm just, I think I'm just exhibiting bad marksmanship. Catch. Let me try that again. No more ammo on you? Nope. Well, we got some hits. Not an in-depth review, but kind of the way we do it here at Carry Trainer. Want to give it to you real and raw. We took this sucker out to the home range, had some fun with it. Boy, is it beautiful. I don't know how I would feel about it if I didn't have so much time behind these guns. I love dots. I've got a PX4 that uh, Boresight Solutions and Ernest did as a co collaboration together with the same optic on it, so I've got some time behind them, so it's not new to me. I love it. If you want one, this is available now. I gotta also say, I'm very grateful to Amy and Ernest Langdon and their awesome team of people for including Drew and I on helping launch this product to you, the public. They could have chose a lot of people. It makes us proud that they entrusted us to share it with you, along with some other great guys like Mike from uh, Mr. Guns and Gear. Fantastic product. We do have a discount code for Langdon. It's on carrytrainer.com. Hey, leave a comment about what you think about this. Leave a comment about whether or not you buy one. Leave a comment about how sexy you think it is and if this should be an NC-17 video just because it's in here. Tell Drew thank you in the comments. He works harder than all of us. Mickey with carrytrainer.com. On this side of the lens, Drew on the other. Kanan over working at the truck today. Be well, don't be dickheads, and if you're into the best darn freaking double singles on the planet, maybe one of the best performing all around beautiful guns on the planet, that was a little hammed up, but I do believe it. LTT 92, and if you're a dot guy, now you can buy one. That's for cool. That shoot's so nice.